Alright, boys and girls. We are playing some full lethality center. We're bringing it back, boys. Everyone's out here building attack speed. You know, attack speed crit center. Nah, this champion literally just feels better when you play lethality. This champion was designed to play lethality, okay? She isn't designed to, like, have high attack speed and pump out a whole bunch of auto attacks per fight. It feels weird. You want your autos to be big and juicy and two-shot people. So that's how we're playing her. Boom. Yo, Dr. Snake 453 coming in with the prime. Can we get some gas in the chat? Thank you, thank you. Also, could be a hard game because we are full AD. But luckily, we got the rank one Senna on our team. So we got this. They actually have like a terrifying team comp too. We're, we're, we're gonna have to just like hyper perform this game. Don't you dare get picked. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Remember we're playing with Illusion with no flash. He blew it in the invade. Okay, Pike, I think, just warded somewhere over there, which means they don't know where our Olaf is, because our Olaf is actually topside. Olaf's wanting to play for bot scuttle. I'm down. We should be able to play for this. I pump a Q in dilution to put my Q on cooldown. Oh, we're double crabbing him, boys. If we get this crab, their their jungler's mental is absolutely devastated. He's he's mentally out of the game. Permanently. It's done, boys. It's done. It's over. I don't know why junglers literally will just like lose entire games for scuttle crabs. We should have cleared that ward instead of gotten a little bit of poke on him. Okay, Pike is rotating up to that. Nope, he's still bot. Nice, nice, nice. See, look, Warwick is tilted, guys. Warwick is tilted. He realized he got double crabbed, so he tried to do a desperation play uh, mid. This is pretty rough. <laughs> this is a this is a hard lane. We might need a gank here, or we could just take like a early reset. Okay, we're gonna be going Dusk Blade into Ghost Blade. The, the double blade, the double blade tech. Wait. Oh, we actually killed him. We take those. We freaking take those. That could have been awful. That could have been real bad. We out of here. All right, not going Divine Sunder, not going Kraken, which are the app by far most uh, too popular Cinemythics. We're going Duskblade, guys. We're bringing it back, baby. Invisibility Cinna. Invisa Cinna. Invis Cinnability. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, we're going to swap out for early Red Trinket because of Pike. Easy gang spot. Champions counter Pike or, or counter Senna. Any champion with hooks or hard engage. This champion uh, heavily, heavily, heavily requires like slow, controlled uh, team fight environments. So anything like Leona or Pike or Thresh or Blitzcrank, really, really tough to play against. As Senna, you just dash into his face, bro. Pike's still probably in that area, so them taking that fight is pretty rough. Uh, also, it's not like a direct counter, but like for instance, like right here, Pike can be roaming and infecting these fights where Cinna can't really. She's kind of stuck in lane. Not like literally, but she's 10 times more effective in lane. See, like Pike can be doing this kind of stuff, and we just can't. 
So that's not like countering us in lane. But it's an advantage that Pike has over Senna for sure. Oh man. I think we probably should have been looking for that. I think Lucian should have dashed forward. Made him either trade or get some free damage, but it's all good. It's all good because we're almost level six. Now, if I was Pike, I would just be rushing Moby Boots and hardcore roaming. Maybe coming back bot lane for level six, but... I don't think I'm going back. I, I, I don't want to go back for just a... Long sword. We, we need to be winning this lane, by the way. We, we get hard out skilled this game. We need, like, at least one winning lane. It, preferably two. Yep, Pike got Mobies. Showing bot, he's got red buff. Poor Warwick, he's just not gotten a single scuttle. Okay, we see Warwick mid though. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, we can, we can just straight up fight them in 2v2s. They have better setup for gank, though. I'm looking with Senna ult if you want to just fight that. If you want to just fight that. Yo, he's level 5, bro. Fight it. Fight it. Oh, he, he still had E. Rip. It was worth trying, though. Better prep for the upcoming week. Good luck with the game. Hey, take it easy, man. You too. Alright, Pike still Turbo Mia. We probably should have pushed this all the way up before we went to Dragon. We see Pike. He's probably going to go for me here. This could actually be easy, super easy bait. I'm going to walk up here to see if he ease over the wall. Nope, he's not taking it. Need 900 more gold before Invisicena takes the stage. Yo, this is this is good. This is this is not good for them, bro. Easy. Nice, nice, nice. They blew summoners. They did get one pike alt, but we I'm I'm gonna get another plate here. <laughs> Thank you, mid call. Nice F you. Oh my. I think players that rely on Mia pings are like pretty low on the totem pole. Like, yes, it's like courtesy to call your laner Mia. But you have you have a minimap, bro. You definitely have a minimap. You should not be dying to ganks that you don't even realize that, like, they're not in mid lane. Like, that's just really poor awareness. All right, we got Dustblade now, though. We got first turret. We looking good. We looking good. It helps us bad players. Yeah, it helps bad players, but it's a crutch. It's not... It's, it's a courtesy. Communication is key. But you shouldn't rely on that. If you literally don't know that mid lane is missing, you you need to work on map awareness. Like, 100%. That's a huge fundamental that you're, like, just not practicing.
That's about as much vision as I can get of the Warwick. Yeah, that's fightable. You ready for next dragon? Ah. Uh. That looked fun for Aphelios. Ooh, nice little angle there, boys. Nice little pivot. Most League players don't want to improve. I mean, I understand that like they're using it as like a reason to flame. Like, there are a lot of things that your teammates do in League of Legends that are bad. But them not hand-holding for you, them not holding your hand and telling you when it is missing, like, that's just, like, it's like asking your teammate to have map awareness for you. Also, let's be real. Even when you ping it, a lot of players don't have the map awareness to realize what you're communicating. Like, I, I'm, I'm someone who pings a lot, right? I'm, I'm a pretty heavy pinger. I ping when I'm on the on the way to lane from base, just to, like, let people know that, like, I'm going to that lane. But. Fortunately, my ulti would not kill him there. It'd come pretty close, but it wouldn't kill. Blew my barrier, but nothing else. Ooh, got her. All right, the only angle they have here is that Pike, like, E flashes or something. Kills everybody. Beautiful. We take those. We take those, boys. Not bad, not bad. All right, uh, we're going to go Ghostblade second. I hear the Ghostblade second item on Senna is actually really good. Let's find out together, boys. Alright, Lucy Poo giving a kill. Now remember, now remember, guys. This game is looking pretty good, but it, we are not in the clear. Not even a little bit. We have almost zero magic damage. The only magic damage is coming out like there's a little bit in Lucian's kit and a little bit in like Yone's kit. And Yone's pretty far behind. So if they just stack armor, we're going to do less and less damage. Luckily, nobody's building armor on their team. Oh my god. I would be fuming if I was against the full AD team. Have you played against Hyper Mobile Champions as a champion like Senna? It, it, it affects everything. Like you... You take different fights, you opt in and out of different fights. Like, you just have to know going into the fights, like, which ones you're looking for. Like, I talked about a little bit about it earlier. Like, you want slow, controlled fights. I don't want the fight to start with, like, Pike E-flashing me, right? So I try to minimize the amount of times that, like, he can E-flash me. It's rooted. You know what I mean? Like, Olaf, it doesn't really matter if he gets E-flashed on. Because he can use his ult, cleanse all CC... And he's probably not going to die. Oh, the Q through the turret, boys. We getting tricky out here. Got him. The ulti in five. I don't think we should be look pushing for this. I think we should be going and getting dragon. Not bad, boys. Um, um. All right, I think I take a buy here.
We got a dragon lead. We got the kill lead. We got the turret lead. I don't think this is a game where we want to open up their inhib, honestly. It always... It, pe people treat it like it's a complete no-brainer. But, like, in a game like this, I don't think we can end it in the next, like, five minutes. So, unless you can do that or, like, turn it into a Baron, you probably shouldn't be taking an inhib. Like, we're, we've got a lead, but we don't have, like, an insanely high lead where we're looking to end in the next five minutes. You know, barring anything insane. Yeah, it's not even worth. He's just dead. Yeah, throws like this are just going to put them right back into the game. Like, this is our game to throw, 100%. That guy's got shield bow, so even if he looks like he's killable, he's not. Inhibs before 20 minutes or troll or not. Not always. Like I said, if you can use it to turn it into a like a baron or a soul point or pressure an end, it's not. But typically, it's really hard to have a big enough lead at 20 minutes where you are looking to end the game. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to ult before I use my W. That way I can't miss it. Good job, buddy. Senna, Senna. Now, do you guys think that's a good ping? He said, all you Senna. That, okay, it was a good ping. He was giving me props. Alright, we can look to do this. We actually have to do it like kind of fast though. Yeah, there, there is a queue for it. Akoi. Uh, you can always add to the queue. And we're, we're going to finish up the queue tomorrow. Like tomorrow, all day long, we're going to be playing champion requests. It's going to be a banger, baby. Looking for that W, not finding it. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that Lulu damage, bro? Holy god. Illusion's dead. We are letting them stall this game out so hard. I, th I think if we stay for this, we get rotated on and just die. We just all die. And then they could actually possibly Baron. If they get Baron, they're going to win the game. Guys, we need to leave. We need to leave. Please leave. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, their team didn't rotate on them. Nice. All right. We got Duskblade into Yomus. I think we go uh, Umbral as the last item. I will ulti on this. I oh, he didn't ult. That was a little bit of a bummer. I love when people like make Yone look balanced. It's such a feat. It's okay, friends. Let's not flame each other. Smile. Mental positivity, boys. No, no, no. Don't take that. Don't take that. Don't take inhib. Oh, God. We're throwing so hard. Okay. I need to like take control of my team or else we're gonna we're just going to lose this game. We're just throwing over and over and over again. We just gave a thousand gold to Anivia. Who is the best champion in the game at stalling out? It's okay, friends. Let's play around me, smile. Well, that didn't land. No, 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 no. Oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> We're just trolling. I think Your dude, teach me how to be a better person. We are actually trolling. Guys, let's fight for dragons, okay? Not for anything else. Yeah. Aphelios has armor boots now. We actually just lose this dragon. Hey, Regato, he says, you're sending to teach me how to be a better person. Love to hear it, man. Thank you very much for the four months. Can we get some gasms in that chat? Oh, my God. Are, okay, are are we like, am I on punked or something? What is this? 
What what are these plays, guys? Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, give me a yeehaw, boys. Give me a yeehaw. Oh my god. Hey, I'm not going to take all the credit there, but I definitely just saved the game. I watch this when when dragon dies you can queue like a half second after it dies and pick up both souls it can save you like one second of picking up souls stop trying to take the inhibitor stop we are going to baron and then use it to end the game oh my god at least pike missed oh my god this game is so balanced We are going to Baron and use that to end the game. Guys, I like to type what I'm, I I like to type my shot calls twice sometimes when I think I've got a an especially slow team. Make sure that make sure it's really getting absorbed. We are looking to Baron. Don't 50-50 turn and fight. If they steal the Baron, I'm telling you they're going to win the game. Are you kidding me, man? He actually healed off of his ultimate. That sucks. I blew both my summoners. I'm actually a huge liability now. I don't... We, guys, we still don't go for this. We don't go for this. Like, why are we trying to go for this inhibitor? Lulu's gonna... Be, oh, God. Okay, nice, 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 nice. They threw, they threw, they threw, they threw. They threw. We can actually just end it. We can end it. If Yone comes, we can just end it. What, what am I what, what am I looking at here? We still end it? They're up in ten seconds. Baron. Baron, 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 Baron. Dude. Oh, my team is so unresponsive. I'm gonna take a reset. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Umbral. My team absolutely might get wiped here, but it it's it's just wrong to stay for this. I'm not staying. I'm not doubling down on their misplays. Like he could 100 percent just get caught here by a random pike hook and die, and then they get Baron. It's winnable though. Yup. 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 Who could have seen this coming, guys? I don't know who could have possibly seen this coming. What an unforeseen circumstance we have now found ourselves in. Clean dodge. I gotta save my Yomus to try to dodge uh, Warwick Alt with. Guys, we... We are going... We are going to play for Baron and use it to end through bot. Got some decent vision. Ended that. Okay, I don't have ulti. They're in a spot where they have to fight for soul in one minute. They're getting a little harder to kill, though. Oh my god.
I'm not taking any chances. If I got any lower, Pike might have been able to uh, execute me. We can pressure an end here. Stall their backs. Stall their backs, guys. Stall, stall, stall. We end, we end. Nice, nice, nice. It's an ender, it's an ender. G guys, Lucid! Lucid! You're the dead, you're the, you're the, Akira! You're the dedicated turret clicker. What are you guys doing? This is unbelievable. Oh my god. I can't end it. All dead, now barren. I'm getting me a pinged. I'm a freak of nature, bro. I am an actual freak of nature on this champion. Good freaking God. You players do not deserve me, man. I barely deserve me. Oh my God. Rank one, by the way. Don't ever forget it. There's the FF. I would FF after that too. I would FF after that too. I just tap, I just tap danced on you. I got out my tippy tap dance shoes and tap danced on you at the end there. Nice try. My team tried so hard to throw, but hey, when you play with the GSA, it's impossible to throw. I'm gonna ironically honor the Yone. GG boys. Hey, GG's. All right, there is the damage. Oh, that's the gold. There's, there's the damage chart. Did second most, second to Kiana. If you guys watch this video on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the build strap in my tap dancing shoes down in the comments. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh